Hello there, this is Wendy with loveandstampin.com. Welcome, I am so excited that you're here with me today. Today's video is gonna be a little different than normal because we are just going to sit and craft together. I have swap cards that I've gotta get finished up and so I decided I would turn the camera on and you can just see my process in mass producing and I'm just gonna sit and chat with you and tell you some stories about things that have been going on recently in our lives, a little bit of a vlog um, update, if you will. Um, also, there are a few things I want to mention, though, before we jump into our crafting. First is that the uh, fall stamp -a stack that I'm doing, which is different than my paper party, is still has openings. So there's a link below the video if you want to sign up for that. The fall paper party, if you didn't get a chance to sign up, Technically, I can let you squeeze in here in the next couple of days, but your payment has to be made by Monday, August 2nd. So if you're interested, there's a link below the video. It's a sign up form. If the sign up form doesn't work when you click on it, that means that it's done. It's deactivated and you have missed the opportunity. So I just wanted to let you know about that. Um, the other thing that I wanted to tell you about is August 3rd, which is Tuesday, Stampin' Up! starts their second celebration of the year. I'm really excited about this because they've never done this before. This is a first for, for Stampin' Up! for me, everybody. And um, the holiday catalog will release. I keep calling it the holiday catalog, even though it's technically not what it is. That's what it is, right? Am I right? So um, anyway, you can order from that on August 3rd, but before you place your order, if you have a $100 order or more, please consider purchasing the Stampin' Up! Starter Kit. And in, I'm inviting you personally to be part of our lovely Stampers community. We have an amazing exclusive community full of Stampers. There's over 200 lovely Stampers and we, love to create and share together and we have the best time. There's a lot of awesome benefits um, to being part of my lovely stampers. Like we do special giveaways. Um, we have special events every month. Lots of different things that are going on. In fact, we have a really fun kit party that we're doing on August 13th. And these things are exclusive only to people who are part of my community. And the only way to be part of that is to purchase the Stampin' Up! Starter Kit. It often scares people. People think that that means you have to do parties or become a demonstrator that does different things where you sell stuff or do what I do and you really don't. Basically, it equals being able to discount shop with Stampin' Up! and having access to the lovely Stampers community. If you decide to do more, great, we invite you to do so. But if not, we are totally happy with you just shopping with your discount. The question everybody always asks is, is there a minimum? Yeah, there is. I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you there's not. But the thing is, most people who are shopping with me are already meeting that minimum in the amount that you're placing your orders. So you're just not saving the 20%. So basically when you join, for example, if you were to join in August, you have the rest of that quarter, so August and September, plus um, October, November, and December, to hit $300 in, in orders. So those can be your own orders, they can be orders from friends, and this is stuff that um, a lot of people don't even tell you about because they, they wanna just kinda get you in the door. Um, but I'm telling you, because it's my number one asked question, and I just wanna head it off right at the front so that you understand, yes. However, there are these people, they're called kidnappers. What's a kidnapper? A kidnapper is somebody who purchases the starter kit because they see the deal, right? They go, oh, it's $99. I get $125 in products. So that's $26 in free product. Plus, I get to choose a bundle out of these bundles that Stampin' Up! has provided that you get for free. So you get to choose a bundle. That value depends on which one you choose. Uh, you get $125 in product you only pay 99 plus tax and your shipping is free. So basically the people who do this, they're the thinkers, friends, they're the thinkers. So anyway, I always wanna put it out there for you because it's the best deal for your money. It's why I purchased the starter kit was simply so I could get a discount on product and then here I am 11 years later and it's my business. 
And it just kind of happened organically. I didn't really plan that. It just happened. And then things took off. But um, anyway, I invite you to be part of our community. You would love it. I know that all the people that are part of our community enjoy it. Um, there's nobody that I, I've never had a single person say to me, boy, I really wish I wouldn't have purchased that starter kit and become part of the lovely stampers. It's awful. Never have had that happen. So hopefully it never happens um, because we do have a lot of fun and I pour my heart and soul into my community and taking care of them and treating them well. And I do my very, very best every day for them. Um, they are the heart and soul of my business, honestly. Uh, my customers uh, are really important to me as well. So if you're a customer, of course I love you, but purchasing that starter kit kind of brings you in to a different level with me where you're spending time with me and I'm getting to know you on a personal level and it's just a different relationship. So anyway, August 3rd, you can purchase the starter kit and get those extra freebies, that bundle, um, and then be part of our community. So if you're interested, wait till August 3rd and then sign up. There's always a link below my videos with the sign up for the starter kit. Um, if you have any questions, you can always email me, comments, whatever you want to do. All right, so let's jump into some crafting and we're going to just chit chat and hang out. Here we go. <laughs> All right, here we are. We're gonna use the Happy Holidays stamp set, and this does have a punch, it's a bundle. Um, and I'm gonna make a whole bunch of swap cards. This video is sped up two times its normal speed because the video was 53 minutes long. <laughs> and y'all, I got the gift of gab, but I cannot sit and talk for 53 minutes straight. I just can't do it. Well, I probably could if I had somebody talking back with me. I know I could, but to just like sit and drone on for 53 minutes, it's a lot. So I want to start out by saying, um, if like just a bunch of chit chat, isn't your gig, that's okay. We are fine with that here at Levin Stampin'. You do not have to watch our video, but we are not so much a, uh, craft. Well, we do treat, we teach, we teach how to make things. But in addition to that, we have story time and hangout time. And so if that's not your jam, that's okay. You do you, I'll do me. You don't have to hang out at the channel. I promise it's fine. So um, right here, I have pre-cut a whole bunch of these things. So what I'm, let's first talk about the card, talk about what I'm doing, and then we're going to get into other stuff. So... Um, I signed up for four different swaps with this amazing group that I'm part of um, that does really beautiful, they really do beautiful work. And that's important to me because I, if I'm going to share and show projects um, and cards, I want them to have good craftsmanship. Good craftsmanship is really important to me. So I signed up to do these swaps with this particular group I'm part of. We also did a lovely stamper swap, which is my team swap, and I shared that a few weeks ago. Um, but for this swap, I signed up for four different ones. So one of them was using a bundle, one of them was using a stamp set, one of them was using a suite of products, and actually two of them were using a suite of products. You had to make two different cards with the same suite. So four cards total, I had to do um, 16 for the suite, I'm doing 14 for this one, and I had to do 13 for the stamp set. So I'll let some brilliant person out there add that up and put it in the comments for you below because I don't know. So 16, 13, and 14. So that's how many cards I've made for these swaps. And um, we, get, we get to choose the bundle or the suite that we want to use. So I chose to use this bundle because I think it's adorable and there's about a million hundred trillion things I could do with it. But um, I decided to do this. Also, um, I pre-cut all of my card stocks. All of my pieces are pre-cut, ready to go. You can see over there on the left, um, I pre-cut crumb cake cardstock so that I pre-cut it and pre-embossed it. So it was ready to just assemble. 
Um, there is a little bit of footage that's got cut out of this. I just didn't video everything. Um, I videoed, you'll see everything, but meaning there was like probably 30 minutes worth of bow tying that I was like, I'm not filming that. So other than that, I left everything in. So you're gonna, you're gonna see it all. Um, this paper is called Painted Christmas, and it is quickly rising to the top of my favorite Christmas papers. All of these products are going to be available on Tuesday, August 3rd. So if you see something I'm using today and you really love it, you can purchase it August 3rd in my online store. I do have a special offer coming for August that I'm going to be announcing on Monday. But if you place an order on Sunday, tomorrow, August 1st, then the it'll apply still. I'm just running out of time, people. That's what it boils down to. We'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. So anyway... Um, I'm just going to sit here and assemble these cards while we have chit chat. And that was the point of today's video. I did do a color splash combination over on my blog. Um, it's very rare that I do a video that doesn't end up on my blog. Uh, this one might eventually, but I decided to take a little break from making a color splash video this week that had a specific color combo because I really needed to finish these swap cards and get them in the mail. But I wanted to have some time with you hanging out, visiting, catching up also. So I thought, you know what? It's okay. I can, I'm allowed. I'm allowed. Who? Let me check with my boss. Excuse me, boss. Yes, can you, can I skip color splash today? Why, yes, you can. Okay, no problem. That's how that went in my head. So, you know, I thought, I, I'm i the, I'm the boss here. I can totally skip a color splash video. It's fine. So we are um, putting these all together. This is some gorgeous ribbon, by the way, that you've got to have in your stash when it comes available on the third. Um, so let's get into everything else as we're working our way through this. And I'll probably jump back and forth sharing some details about the card. I am going to put the measurements of what I've done here in the um, comments section, not comments, sorry, in the description of the video, along with FYI, every single link you probably ever need to do anything with me. So if you need to sign up to get my emails, link below the video. If you need to purchase the starter kit, link below the video. If you need to order supplies for me, link below the video. Link below the video for everything. So um, anyway, I'm gonna snip snip here and we're gonna chat chat. Here we go. So last week, you know, this is the thing. I've heard the saying a million times, make plans so that God can laugh type thing. So last week, um, the 23rd, yes, it was the 23rd, because I think that was a Saturday. I'm actually looking at my calendar so that I can be accurate when I'm giving you this as uh, the 24th. So um, I was all excited because Saturday morning, the 24th, we had no swim meet. Um, my daughter competitively swims, and we wrapped up our swim season, our official swim season, um, on Friday the 23rd. So I knew that Saturday morning I did not have to get up at 4.45 a.m. to get my poop in a group to get out the door to go to a swim meet. And let me tell you, if you've never been to a swim meet or if you've never participated in one and you don't know what it's like, people, it's like going mini camping for the day. You have to pack an ice chest. You have to pack a pop-up tent. You have to pack, like, blankets and um, chairs and food. And I mean, it's just the list goes on. So anyway, it's it really is like getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning to go for a day to the lake. Think of it like that. Like, or a day out where you're, like, not going to have amenities and you're going to be in the heat. And so you need all the things to prepare yourself for that. That's what we have to do every single Saturday all summer long. So the 24th, I'm all excited. I'm like, or the 23rd, I'm like, I'm going to bed tonight. I'm going to stay up a little bit late. I'm going to go to bed and I get to sleep in in the morning. Like I always have to get up early and let the dogs out to go potty and feed them. But then I usually get to sleep in. 
FYI, here on this, oh no, you don't see it actually. Um, so I had colored one of these birds and it was hideous and it looks like it didn't make it on film, which thank God for you. You don't have to see it and break your eyeballs. Okay, so anyway, um, so I go to bed on Friday the 23rd, all excited. Like, yes, I have a whole weekend where we don't have any plans. We don't have to be anywhere. We don't have to do anything. We just get to like be normal people and hang out. So my husband, however, was on call and I did not take this into account. So his phone rings at 4 a.m. So back up just a little bit to Friday night. Um, twice Friday evening, Skeeter, the new puppy, who is now tomorrow will be 15 weeks old, peed in the house twice. And we really weren't having that issue. So I was a little... I was like, what the heck? What's happening here? Sometimes you can have some potty regression when you're potty training a puppy, just like a, just like a human. Um, so I didn't think too terribly much about it, but I was like, hmm, that's kind of weird. Anyway, we go to bed, four o'clock comes Saturday morning, the phone rings. I call it the bat phone here in the house. And the phone rings and wakes us up and my husband gets called into work. So he gets up, gets dressed. I'm awake now. So I'm like, well, let me let the dogs out. So I get up. I let the dogs out to go to the bathroom. And I'm going to feed them, put them back to bed. And then I'm going to go back to bed. That's my plan. Remember what I said about plans? So I'm very rummy. Like, I'm not really totally with it. I'm really tired. We actually stayed, well, I kind of stayed up late Friday night. Because, again, I thought I was going to get to sleep in Saturday so I get up, let the dogs out, they go to the bathroom, they come back in the house, but there's no puppy. And I'm like, what? So I go out and I'm like, well, maybe she had to go number two. So it's taking her a little longer. You know, they got to hunt for a good spot. I'll never understand that, but whatever. So anyway, I go back out and I'm looking for her and I can't find her. So finally I see her and she's squatting to go pee. And I'm like, well, maybe she got distracted or whatever. So I stand out there for a minute. And I'm like, come on, Skeeter. And she just keeps like she walks a little bit, squats to pee, walks a little bit, squats to pee. And I'm like, what the heck? So I bring her back in the house and get her all settled in. I feed everybody. They all eat. And I put her back in her kennel because we crate train our dogs until they're about two years old so that if they ever do have to travel in a crate or be crated for any reason, it won't like traumatize them. And so that we don't have any accidents or issues in the middle of the night. So puppies will get up in the middle of the night and do whatever they want and you're asleep and don't know it until it's too late. So we always crate train like Truby sleeps in the house now just wherever she wants to, but she's going to be four in December. Um, but when she was a little one, we crate trained her. So I put her back in the crate and about 5 a.m. So I've laid back down. My husband's left to go to work and kiss, kiss, hug, hug. We've, you know, I've been sad for a minute for him because I, I hate when he's on call. It's horrible. That's a video, another video. Anyways, so um, I lay back down to go back to sleep and it's probably like 4.30 by this time, 5-ish, little after 5-ish a.m., I hear the puppy crying. And I'm like, what? So I get up, I go in, and I'm like, she must have to go to the bathroom. So I take her out. She starts doing the same thing. Like, she's peeing constantly. And she's, every once in a while, she's kind of like making a moan when she pees. Not a, not a yelp, but like just kind of a sound. I'm like, that's weird. So all of a sudden it dawns on me, like, maybe she has a bladder infection. Like that's a, that's what happens to a human. Like you have the constant urgency to pee and you can't help it. And it hurts because your bladder's contracting. So I'm like, maybe she's got a UTI, which is the term you're supposed to use. But Wendy just always says bladder infection because it's also that. So anyway, um, I'm like, well, crap, it's 
30 a.m. at this point on Saturday morning. I ha I'm so tired and I'm like, what? I don't know what to do because my vet is closed. So my, I have a good friend who lives not too far from me who's a veterinarian. So I think maybe by chance she will have some um, antibiotics that I can start the dog on until Monday. So I text her at like 6.15 in the morning, which is horrible because you should never text anybody that early. FYI, if you're watching and you do that to people, it's not kind. Uh, don't text people at 6 a.m. Also, don't text and call people at like 10, 11 o'clock at night. It's not cool. So um, anyway, uh, I text her and I'm desperate. And I'm like, I, you know, I don't know what to do. The dog's she's literally peeing constantly. Like I don't, I have no idea what to do with her at this point. So I lay down on our porch couch outside because I'm like, I can't take this dog in the house. She's just peeing continually. And I get myself a blanket. I lay down and I wait for a little bit. And then like 6.45 rolls around and I'm like, okay, I've got to do something. And I still have heard from my friend and I know with bladder infections they escalate quickly like they can they get worse very fast so I never I didn't hear from my friend so I get Skeeter in the car I put towels down in the front seat and I tell my daughter hey I gotta I wake her up it's like 6 40 I think at this time 6 40 6 30 something I don't know it's a blur people so I'm like, hey, I got to get Skeeter to the vet. And I'm like, do you want to go? And she's like, what's wrong with her? I tell her. She's like, is she going to be okay? I said, yes. It's just like antibiotics. She's like, no, I don't want to go. I'm going back to sleep. I'll see you when you get home. <laughs> okay. So this vet clinic is about 40, 40 ish minutes from my house. It's, I mean, it's a drive. I live rural. Um, and so it's a little bit of a jaunt to get over there. So I take off with Skeeter. She pees twice in the car on the way over there in the towel. Thank God I have the towel. Um, and we get there and they have all these crazy COVID things going, right? You can't, I can't go in with her. I have to call them from the parking lot. They meet me at the door it's a whole rigmarole. I've never been to this veterinarian. I don't know these veterinarians. My good friend that I told you about works there. So she's, uh, she works there like a few times a month, like as an on-call, you know, emergency type thing. So I know it's like a decent place, but I also know it's really expensive. So I'm like, well, whatever. I'm, you know, I have to do something. I cannot go all weekend. In the meantime, I look at my phone and I've received a text from my friend who's like, how much does she weigh? Yes, I have the right medication. And I'm like, oh God. So, but I'm already, the, I'm already at the vet. I'm like, you know what? Don't worry about it, Carrie. I'm already here. And she's like, oh no, sorry. So, um, Basically, they do a urine analysis. They do an ultrasound of her bladder because a urine analysis for dogs takes way long. It's not like a human where they can just like do a really quick test and know that you've got a UTI. It's not like that. So they do a quick ultrasound of their bladder because if their bladder wall is thickened, then that means that they have, a, they have something going on. So anyways, they did that. Yes, she had a bladder infection. She gets prescribed. That's the finished card, by the way. I do stamp a sentiment on the inside of the card, and I mount this whole piece to a card base. Um, so she gets amoxicillin. We get in the car. We head home. There's a Starbucks on the way. I call my daughter. Yes, she wants a Starbucks. Yes, I want a Starbucks because I'm going to start crying at any point. I just felt like that's how tired I was. I was so tired. I felt like I could burst into tears. You know how that is. So we get home and you know, it's not like she's fixed from it. It's not like, oh, we went to the vet and here was the problem and boom, now it's fixed. No, she's still peeing everywhere until the uh, amoxicillin starts kicking in. There's still an issue. So I know that we're like a day and a half of 
dealing with this is what it's going to be. So then I get a call from my husband at some point in the morning. Hey, we're going to be here longer. Okay, so he's not coming home. So I'm trying to water the garden and I'm trying to juggle the dogs. In the meantime, I had told my daughter we would run to uh, get her to go to Target to do some shopping. So we do that. And again, that's another 35 minute drive. We do that because there was things I needed to just get done. I had to return some stuff and blah, blah, blah. And honestly, I put the puppy in the kennel and I didn't care if she peed all over in it. It gave me a break from like constantly having to watch her, constantly having to clean up after her. So I was happy to go for a little bit, even though I was so stinking tired. So then by the time we totally got done for the evening and like got home, got settled, got dinner done, all of that at like nine o'clock at night, I let the dogs to go out. I come in and there's blood on the floor and I'm like, what? And it's like streaky little dots of blood all over the pantry. By the way, nine o'clock at night, husband still isn't home. Okay. Um, so he left at 4 a.m. He didn't get home. So, okay, we'll, we'll get to that. So blood on the floor. And I'm like, what the heck? Where is this coming from? So I start checking all the dogs. Like I'm checking all of them, their feet, their legs, everything. I don't find blood anywhere. So the next, so then that night, my husband gets home at like 1230. I went to bed and fell asleep about 10. So within two and a half hours, I'm woken up again. And then he, of course, has to like shower and do all that kind of stuff. So, you know, it was like one something by the time you got in bed. You guys, I was so tired. It's that kind of tired when you have a newborn baby, right? Where you just keep getting woken up and you're like, please, please, for the love of God, let me sleep. Like, that's how I felt. So he finally gets settled in bed. Everybody gets settled. I did take the dog out to go to the bathroom again because I knew she had to. And so we get all settled back in for the night. And the next day I'm watching my old dog and I'm noticing he's limping and I'm like, what in the heck? So he's a little Chihuahua Fox Terrier mix. His name's Buddy. You don't see him very often. He doesn't like the camera. He doesn't like like somebody holding a camera up and taking pictures of him. It, it bothers him. And, um, he's really crotchety and old. So he's limping. So I noticed this for like the day or whatever. And then finally I pick him up to start examining and I see that one of his toes is like swollen. So I look closer. Y'all no toenail dude tore a toenail off. I like, one of his toenails. So that's where the blood came from. So mystery solved. Thankfully, it's healing fine. We did not do a vet run again on Sunday because I don't think my heart could have taken it. I'm telling you, I like handing one of my dogs over to somebody I don't know to take them in somewhere I've never been. The only way I think I was capable of doing it was simply because my friend works there. And so I know it wasn't like, I know it's not like a bad place, but seriously, it was super stressful to me, like to pass my dog off to somebody like that. Um, my dogs are really special to me. They're like my kids. Um, of course my kid is my kid and I love her more than my dogs. Let's just say that to get it out there so that nobody thinks I'm totally insane. Um, but you know, we couldn't have lots of kids. Like, and I really, I'm not a person who should have a lot of kids. I don't have a lot of patience. Um, but we did want to have more than one kid and it just wasn't in the cards. God was like, no, you're just going to have a lot of dogs. So that's what we do. We just have a lot of dogs. Um, and one kid <laughs> and it's perfect. We have like, there are perfect little family. God always knows what he's doing. You know, sometimes we question him, but he just, he already knows. We just have to get out of his business. So, um, anyway, that's that was my crazy emergency weekend with sick dogs, husband getting called into emergency work, all kinds of craziness. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um,
Um, if you want to shop with me, shop LoveandStampin.com. August 3rd again is when all this stuff will be available. And I'll link in the description.